Wayne Wilbanks of Wilbanks Smith and Thomas Asset Management, uh, where he helps oversee about $1.8 billion in assets, joins us from Virginia Beach uh, this morning. Good to see you, uh, Wayne. So, you know, where are markets going? Boy, it's uh, looking kind of ugly out there. We just heard from Barton Biggs, uh, who's been called the ultimate big picture man, saying that we could see maybe 60, 70 percent chance of double dip recession next year. Well, I mean, I think on the uh, U.S. economy, I, I think we probably would disagree with, with Barton on that in the sense that we're actually seeing some improvement coming out of the United States relative to what we're hearing from Japan and from uh, Europe. I mean, if you look at housing starts, you look at auto sales, you look at the corporate profits in the third quarter, uh, surprisingly stronger than what some of the street expected. But uh, there, there's still probably a 20 or 30 percent chance that there's a recession if the global events start to spiral downward. Okay, so if the U.S. economy does collapse, we're looking at 950, maybe 1,000 for the S&P, is that right? Well, I think our, our suggestion is, it, you know, worst case, the market could drop down to 950 or 1,000. But the reality of it is we've been in this trading range between 1,400 on the top for the S&P 500 and down as low as 1075. We're still, you know, 120 points above that range right now. And so, you know, things start to spiral down here. We could get back on down to that low level, but we do think stocks get very inexpensive at that point, and you'll see a lot of buyers come out of the woodwork. Yeah, it looks like we're going to breach 1100. That's uh, where markets are headed. So is this a buying opportunity? And going to year's end, are we going to see gains from here? Well, I mean, a lot's going to depend on what comes out of the European Common Bank. We actually think we would not get to 1100 uh, and not sure we'll get to 1100 if the European Common Bank came out and said, all right, we're going to monetize uh, the debt and begin to take some real uh, aggressive actions. And we suspect that there's a chance that that might happen. But I think what investors need to do is just focus on getting more excited about stocks when they get down to 1000 or 1100 and then be very cautious with stocks when they get to 1250, 1275, like we were, you know, literally three or four weeks ago. Yeah. So play the levels then, Wayne. All right. Let me just ask you about the partisan politics taking place in Washington, D.C. We do have the U.S. president uh, threatening vetoes if we don't have these agreed to cuts, uh, I guess, back during the debt debates uh, over the summer being imposed. So what happens now, now that we have the stalemate with the super committee and the $1.2 trillion in cuts? Right. Well, actually, a, a lot of us on, on the street welcome those cuts, whether they were able to be uh, dictated how they were going to cut it. But either way, we're going to get $1.2 trillion in cuts. And I think it, we're closer to an agreement than I think all of Washington and, and, the, and the press knows right now. There are 44 senators, both parties, that are in agreement about a much larger package, bipartisan uh, revenue increases and big spending cuts. So we're only about seven or eight senators away from um, getting a, a majority on that side of the, of the Congress. And we, we think that over the next six months, we're going to make much better progress than you've seen over the last, uh, really, last month or two. So we're actually, believe it or not, this week growing more optimistic. Yeah, it sounds like it, because you like the large U.S. multinationals, say, getting to the blue chips like Microsoft, like uh, Pepsi, I believe, and uh, uh, WAMU as well. Right. Well, Walmart, uh, you look at these big blue chip stocks, Microsoft, let's take that for example. I mean, these stocks are trading at 12-year at uh, low valuations, huge cash flow. Uh, they pay dividends of two to three percent. So if investors want to be in this market, that's probably the first place that we would go with money because it's the downside protection you get on a day like today. Those stocks hold up really well. All right. Yeah, everyone's looking for defense right now, these volatile markets. Thank you for that. Wayne, Wayne Wilbanks there.